What's up guys, KM888 here and today I'm going to bring you guys some test hands with the deck I showcased yesterday on my channel. If you haven't seen that one, go check it out, the link is down in the description. Um, it's a deck I went 21st place with at Dutch Nationals, it's kinda okay, uh, I liked it a lot and I'm going to try and do some combos for you guys. Um, of course it's a bit awkward because you don't have an opponent as per usual. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna do like going first hands when you don't have an opponent, like simple as that. I'm going to power shuffle though, Com also like the usual. Um, deck is still um, all in the same order like the deck profile yesterday, so I'm probably going to draw <laughs> three offs uh, elsewhere. So, yeah, I don't want that. So yeah, let's uh, check out our first opening hand. So first card being Abyss Actor Curtain Razor. Then we have the Pendulum Call, the Strudo, Jackal King, and Black Fang Magician. No Servant of Endymion, no way to get it. And not too many draw cards either, so we have to make do with what we have. So let's begin. Abyss Actor in the scale, Pendulum, uh, use it as a summon. Uh, normal Black Fang, you don't really mind. You're gonna make the Electromite, and because you don't have Dark Worm as of yet, and you really need it, you're going to send Dark Worm from the deck. <clears throat> so we're going to send Dark Worm. At this point, you're gonna scale the Jackal King, you're gonna use the Electromite, pop it, and you're going to get the Black Fang back. Now, Black Fang is crucial at this point because you don't have any high or low scales. You're gonna get them with the Pendulum Call, but yeah, that's all. <laughs> that's always that. And you're gonna get the draw from the Electromite. We, we are drawing the Aether now. You have to make, uh, you have to think in your head that in the deck profile I said I was going to change it up for a Dragon Caller Magician, which is a scale 2 level 7, so it has a lot more uses uh, at that point, but it's the reason why I want to change it up, so yeah. Uh, pendulum call this away, and you're gonna go for Oaf Dragon and Harmonizing Magician. Standard combo is standard, I guess. At this point, scale the Oaf, scale the Black Fang, and we're gonna go into our Pendulum Summon. Now it is kind. I, th I still think it's kind of sad that we didn't see the Endymions. Uh, because it would have showcased uh, what I do with the Jackal King and it, it would have been better in a real duel, so yeah. Uh, so we're going to Pendulum Summon out these four. And the Harmonizing is going to use its effect. So we're going to get any of the other level fours. I'm going to choose for the Purple Poison because I have the Black Fang. And it can actually come in handy, so... Now, uh, first things first, I am going to use, um, I, I really want to make a rank 4 play because um, I, I'm pretty sure that I can use the Strudo as well to make um, a Dawn Draxer with the Aether, so that doesn't really matter to me, so I'm going to use these two to go into Dweller first. Like, this is of your choosing, you have to think you're in a tournament, uh, maybe your friends have played your opponent already and you might know the deck, um, it's common knowledge I guess like that way and you might know what you're playing against um, but common thing to do is to summon a Abyss Dweller at this point. Uh, right here you're gonna use the Dark Worm, go into LP. Using Harmonizing and Electromite to make a Triple Burst and now you're going to use LP's effect. In a regular situation, you're going to special summon the Dark War, uh, the Dark, the, the Strudo from your deck, but I already have it in the graveyard, and it doesn't really matter what you're going to get out. So we're going to special summon just another Dark Worm. It's another fodder in your uh, your extra deck for Vortex Dragon, so it's always nice. Um, at this point, using the Dark Worm and Triple Burst to go into Agar Pain. Uh, Agar Pain effect, you're going to summon a Vortex Dragon. 
at this point use the LP and the agar pain you're going to you're going to summon the heretic link and right now you're going to use the strudos effect on the aether um, strudo so there's that oh the second dark room has to be here over as well um, and then you're going to use the strudo putting it on the bottom of the deck and you're going to make a Dawn Dragster. Now this hand is this field is basically like the the bread and butter of what you're going to get. Like there is the chance that you if you open up with the Endymion package, you're gonna have a Jackal King in one of the two zones as well. Uh, maybe if you've drawn an, an the, the big Endymion as well, or you search it out, you can get that one in the field as well. Um, but this is already four interruptions, and if you use this card's effect, you can just summon a sloth from your deck in the opponent's turn and have another lock on the field. So, uh, normally against Salaman Grades, that's pretty much enough, and game one it probably is. Uh, but, after, but after that, they, they, they might break it somehow, and you have to think about that. But against most decks, this has actually won me the game. Um, a lot of people are opting to. Um, because they think, oh, I might not be able to break it, I'm not going to show my deck, and they just quit already. So it's also a, a valuable option that they can do. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's just crazy. I'm going to do a second hand. I hope I'm going to draw the Endymions right here. You never know what we're going to draw. And after that, I'm going to sign off the video again. So uh, this is actually going pretty fast. We're only six minutes in. We've already done one combo videos, uh, one combo. Uh, so yeah, let's see what we're going to get. As I said uh, in the deck profile, the deck is 47 cards. That's the that's why I shuffle uh, a little bit weird for you guys maybe. Uh, but yeah, there there's there's always that. So let's see. So we have Black Fang again. We have the Servant of Endymion. Now some spell cards, please. Yes, the mastery, a double mastery is not that great, and a foolish burial. That's that's awesome. So um, the second mastery isn't that great, but it's good for next turn. So if you get it into the graveyard, you can actually get a second counter with the mo with the other mastery. So yeah. Um, how to start this off? Well, you have the servant. You're gonna use it. <laughs> Simple as that. Are gonna use the foolish burial. We're going to send dark worm. So we're going to send Dark Worm, and because we use Foolish Burial, we're actually going to get a counter on the Servant of Endymion. So I'm going to get my Dices ready to put on the monsters. I don't know why I haven't done that before. I'm going to use the Dark Worm effect to special summon it. Most of the time I summon it in either one of these two zones. It doesn't really matter, but having it here just in case for the Dark Worm combo already is kind of nice. It doesn't really matter where you summon it in either of these zones. Um, Supreme King Gate 0, you get it for free, why not? And then you're going to use the Spell Power Mastery. Now, in this scenario, um, we already have the, the Servant of Endymion, so you don't need that. We're, we're just going to search out our high scale, the... Um, what's the thing called? We can either search the Mighty Master of Magic, or we can search another Servant of Endymion. Uh, we both have a low and a high skill for Electromite to pop, so we can actually choose which one. I think this one is the better one in that scenario. Now, you both have used the Mastery, so you give a counter to this one, so it, it's on two. And then, because it's resolved, you get a third counter on the, on the Servant. Now, at this point, you're going to use the Servant's effect, and you're going to Special Summon it uh, with one counter. Together with a Jackal King from your deck. Jackal King makes sure that uh, hand traps are locked to a certain degree. And yeah, it's really likable. It's it's crazy. Now, the thing is you don't want to make Electromite with these two as of yet. Because then you only have one counter in the field for the Jackal King. So you want to give him more counters just to, go, just to get it off. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to try... Uh, and and use these two as our scale, as our pendulum scales, and we're going to send a harmonizing with the electromite to get it back. So we're going to pop the black fang in the combo. So we're going to scale the black fang right here already. So we're at three counters on the jackal king. That's important. 
That way you can negate any hand trap coming uh, into, Electrom into Electromite's wake. So Electromite, using the effect, not having to be scared of effect failure or ghost ogre, uh, it's always nice. Like, infinite impermanence is still a thing, but... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> is it really? <laughs> using the effect, popping the Black Fang, getting the Harmonizing into your hand, and you get to draw a card. So we're drawing a Dragon Shrine. Dragon Shrine in this scenario isn't really that bad because you can still send the Strudo in next turn to make an o to make an OTK play uh, when you get to your second uh, turn. So it isn't that bad. Um, now at this point, scaling gate zero, scaling the Endymion. This brings the counters on your Jackal King to seven, and as you can see, they they, they rack up really fast. And you're going to Pendulum Summon, so uh, from your extra deck you're going to summon the Dark Worm and the Black Fang. And from your hand you're going to summon the Harmonizing Magician. Um, so Harmonizing's effect is going to activate, and you're going to summon a Purple Poison. <clears throat> now right here you have to, you have to already see I haven't used my normal summon yet, but I'm probably also not going to get to a monster I can normal summon because I have the Dragon Shrine, I have the Spell Power Mastery, so there is a uh, there is like this little thing that I won't probably won't be able to use uh, to make both a rank four and a level seven play, which I could have done if I had drawn a normal summon instead of either of these two. So um, I'm going to show you, I always want to make my rank 4 because it's more important than the Dawn Draxer to have the Dweller on the field. So we are going to make the Dweller. So Dweller is already active. And at this point, same place as last combo video. I'm going to make the LP. Harmonizing and Electromite are going away for the Triple Burst. Using the effect of the LP, special summoning the the Strudo. If I can find it. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna make Agarpain. With Agarpain's effect, you're going to summon the Vortex Dragon. I'm gonna link up into oh the Heretic Link. And at this point you have two options. You can just end your board like this, or you can go a step further. And a step further is actually kind of fun. Um, it's kind of weird, but you can do a lot of things. Like, first of all, like imagine that I had my normal summon. I can normal summon it and use the Strudo to make a Dawn Draxer. Now, that's one thing. Second thing you can do is you can use the shrine right here and already send a Destrudo. Uh, a Dark Worm, sorry. In case they break your board, you have the Dark Worm in the graveyard. I opened the turn with Foolish Burial, I believe, so I can activate. Yeah. So I still can activate the Dragon Shrine. And having that Dragon Shrine means I get three more count, uh, two more counters on the Jackal King. Now you might think, why is that important? Those two counters. Well, the Endymion still has another effect. Like again, if you know you're playing against Sky Striker, you just make a Tornado Dragon right here. Like imagine you're playing against Sky Striker, then this is actually a viable option that has won me the game, a, a game. Like seriously. So you make Tornado Dragon. At this point, you're gonna use the. En I can set that right. Yeah, okay. You want to summon this with a counter on the field, because that's important against spell, uh, against Sky Striker. So, so I'm setting the mastery because I really don't care about it. I'm gonna use its effect in the scale, so I have to remove six counters from my Jekyll King because of that, and I get to summon my Endymion, the Mighty Master of Magic. Now at this point, with its effect in the scale, you can pop up to two cards on the field. It's, it doesn't specify on which side of the field, so I, in that case I'm just going to pop my Spell Power Mastery. If I, if I had the normal summon for the Destrudo play and that Dawn Drag Sphere, I could have just uh, popped my own Gate Zero. It doesn't really matter. 
At this point, I popped one card, so I get one counter. This card is now untargetable and undestroyable by card effects. You still have options for your Jackal King, you have a Tornado Dragon on the field, the Erratic Seal, and an Odd-Eyes Vortex Dragon. This field is busted against Sky Striker, they aren't going to come over it. Also, if they summon something, you can just, or, or use multi-roll or something in, like, or the field to pop anything, you can just use the Erratic Seal Put a face-up card back into the into the hand. You, you can also use it on, on your own card, so why not? And then you get to summon a slot from your deck. Now, do remember that the slot is a uh, lock for yourself as well, as well, because you can't summon out of your extra deck as well. But you have in this scenario, you have enough power on the field. You have over eight thousand, so it isn't going to matter. Um, also, if you have to use the Endymion effect, this card comes to your hand. You get the counters on the Endymion, and then you can Tribute Summon over the slot. So in any case, you are in a good position in this scenario to summon the slot. Um, I have to say that this field has won me a couple of games. It's just bonkers. Uh, crazy to do. You can, you can make any any rank 4 here, and against certain matchups, it's, it's just powerful. Um, now, do imagine that this was a normal summonable card. So we're going back a little bit. To this situation and instead of the mastery we have any normal summonable card I want to show this to you guys so you can see how you can actually end a board if you go with the endemians and you have a little bit of luck not drawing duplicate duplicates in a 47 card deck normal summon curtain razor using the Destrudo on the curtain razor you're gonna link it away, and you're gonna make Dawn Dragster. Now, at this point, you can just do the Endymion play again, remove six counters, special summon it, destroy the gate zero, you don't mind about your scales because, well, your field is just bonkers, and you get one counter. At that point, you can end like this, which is which is just nuts. That's only if you had the normal summon. Like, I didn't have the normal summon, I had a mastery. So, just this would, would be gone and the Strudo in Graveyard. Having the Strudo in Graveyard for a second turn isn't bad. I have a Jackal King. Like, I can show you guys. So, I had the mastery instead. Uh, so, mastery in my hand. The Strudo in Graveyard. So, I, en I ended on this board, like, earlier. Let's say I've used some cards, I don't, I don't even care. It's my turn again. Um, so maybe some more spell counters on here. Uh, this will probably be five, uh, two spell counters, I, I don't even care. Like, let, let it be on three, what I had. The Strudo effect on the Jackal King. You can Synchro Summon with it. Summon Arcanite Magician. Arcanite Magician's effect gets two counters. Now, at this point, you already have three, so you can destroy three cards on the field. That's a lot. Three cards. I can just Pendulum Summon the Jackal King uh, again if I free up some zones, depending on what I had, what I've drawn. Like, I, I don't even know what I was going to draw, so I don't even care. Here, Black Fang. Okay, perfect. I still have that Spell Power Mastery from last turn. Activate it. I have. I have a spell power mastery. You can just add another servant. Okay, yeah, and I get two more counters. Uh, I get one more counter on this, and um, a second one. So four. I have the four ca four counters on the Arcanite Magician. At this point, using Black Fang, uh, not even needed. You can just normal summon servant. Discard with with its effect. Give every monster I can an additional counter. So this goes to 2, this one gets 1, this one goes to 5. You ready? With a, a small play, you have 5, 6, 7, 8 counters. I can destroy 8 cards on your field. Arcanite Magician is bonkers. I just wanted to show that at the end of my combo. I've done 2 combo uh, hands, uh, you've seen them. It's pretty easy to do this combo. And I just love the, the feeling that it gives you. It's, it's really subtle and really consistent. So yeah, I hope you guys like that. I'm probably going to do some more, but I want my Dragon Caller Magician first because um, still working with the Aether is kind of 
weird for me. Um, so yeah, uh, until that time, I guess. See ya.